In 1 Chronicles, the Bible says this, For the Lord searches all hearts and understands every plan and thought. To realize that God understands your thoughts. God understands your plans. It has certainly helped me, and I'll go even further than that quote uh, from 28 verse 9. God understands so much better than Chris has ever understood, and the plans uh, uh, have been often beyond me. If I will only have faith enough to follow those plans, we will meet great success. And I say we because I, I'm doing it for God, and yet God is doing it through me. And God will do it through you. Why do some people seem more artistic or inventive than others? Well, perhaps it is because they use their imaginations enthusiastically. They don't try to repress it. They don't try to push it down. And then they apply all that creative imagining in their lives with prayer and with faith that they're not doing it alone. I've been with many great people in, in my life. And uh, one uh, great poet, uh, James Dillett Freeman, used to sit in my office and, uh, and he wouldn't have any idea what to write and he'd take his pencil, it was always a pencil, because he would make sure that he could erase what he was originally thinking. And all of a sudden, the idea would come and he would write it down as fast as he could. Well, it's been that way in my own life, too. You know, people have credited me with the inventiveness to create this ministry and how it's reached out. I don't take any credit at all. Actually, in the beginning, I was kicking and screaming, not owning a computer, not knowing anything about computers or the Internet. Yet, God knew. God had the plan. God had the imagining and let it come through me. All great inventions were first an idea, and then imagining helps to create the ways in which an idea can be brought forth into manifestation and used. The technological and personal breakthroughs, efficient and beautiful designs, they're all the result of wise and productive use of a God-given power that's given to each of us, not to one of us, but to all of us. And that is the power of imagination. Imagination creates mind pictures of divine ideas. And through those mind pictures, we can see new ways or solve old problems to effectively and successfully handle the work that is at hand. We can see ourselves doing things that we otherwise might think impossible. Working with the creative imagination of God, we can very well turn what seems impossible to human mind into the possible of God.